March 14th and 15th, Saturday and Sunday. Wow. First of all, can we just acknowledge the 14th is Albert Einstein's birthday, and he's one of my favorite heroes, and I had a dream about him not long ago that I was teaching him astrology. It was so funny. And he was so old that he couldn't quite track it all, but I was trying to give him the information. Albert Einstein, one of my favorite quotes, the more I know, the more I know I don't know. He was a very humbled Pisces. So, sun is in Pisces and the moon is in Sag. It's a 90 degree angle for this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. That's not an easy combination because it's fire, Sagittarius, and water, Pisces. They conflict. The Pisces is a dreamer, just like Einstein. You know, Einstein would hold two marbles in both hands. He would close his eyes and wait until he almost fell asleep and he dropped the marble. And that's when he'd start writing because he'd wait for the channel to open. Pisces are so good at being in the other world and opening their top chakra or their ability to channel information. And the moon in Sag says, oh my God, this is so much fun. Oh my God, he had moon in Sag. That's so funny. And he was cancer rising. Welcome to Einstein's day. Not often that the moon is the same place it was when the person was born, but it happens to be this time. So the flavor of Pisces and Sag is a philosopher, just like Einstein was. A very deep thinker, Pisces, understanding religions, being interested in all different variations, and Sag, fascinated with everything. So it's a mental fascination. We know that Einstein was a phys physics major, a monster at being able to think about time travel and relativity and all the things that Pisces Sag love to think about. Why are we here? What's the purpose? How does this work? No one knows this, but Pisces are scientists. It's not just the dreamer who's spaced out. It's the part of our brain that opens up to information and then can channel. This is what Einstein did. No one really knows how he figured out relativity. I think he was meditating. And now, just so you know, there is a stellium in Capricorn, four planets, Mars, Jupiter, Pluto, and Saturn. Wow. So if you were Einstein, he didn't have that much Earth. But if you were a Pisces with Sag, and you had four planets in Capricorn, you could get anything done. You could dream, you could have these big giant ideas, and then your Capricorn would focus. That's what I want you to do Saturday and Sunday. It's a really easy time to focus. Astrology Answers wanted me to tell you, there is a stellium, we call it, four planets in Capricorn, a great time to take your Albert Einstein, your own inner Albert Einstein, and give him the assignment of taking a task or a dream or some really creative thoughts and journaling. That's what we do when the sun's in Pisces and the moon's in Sag. Otherwise, you might want to drink, eat, and party too hard this weekend because that's the downside of Pisces Sag. Mm eating, playing, they have no boundaries and they have no off button. Which would you like to do? Einstein or indulgence? Funny combination. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about the four elements and what your missing element is, and then figure out how to find balance in your life so all four wheels in the car are balanced, you click the link in the description to grab your copy of my book, The Missing Element. I can't wait to hear what you think of it.